Hello, I'm back and as you can see I have a big smile on my face. I know it's taken a pretty long time for me to post a video. I never posted a video of my thoughts before and after the shows this year because I had my final exams and that was help. Now that it is over, I can finally share my thoughts and feelings because bitch, we won. We freaking, my country won the Eurovision Song Contest and now it will be held in the Netherlands in 2020 which to be honest is like the best year for it to be held in the Netherlands because we could call it Eurovision for 2020 because you know weed that's not helpful for the image of the Netherlands. Now that it's official that the Eurovision Song Contest 2020 will be held in the Netherlands I want to tell you that I want to be the host. I really want to it's like my biggest dream at the moment it will be forever until I finally am the host. Duncan even said that he wants to see young talent host Eurovision so here I am I'm 18 years old young I'm serious about this I will give everything to do so like if someone from the Dutch media is watching this send me a link where I have to audition or something because I will audition and I'll do whatever it takes so here are some things about Eurovision 2019 I want to talk about the song that grew on me the most was Australia I know that I said that I didn't like it in my review and I said that I thought it could be the first Australian non-qualification but I take all of that back because I loved it the the act was original, the staging was original. I mean, did you see how she was like being carried onto the stage? That looks dangerous. So, uh, Australia's been wheeled on. Hey, girl. Wow. Woohoo! This is gonna be so good. She is so talented to sing and swing on those poles at the same time. That's one of the most spectacular stagings we've ever seen at Eurovision, I think. And honestly, I expected a higher place. I put it on my second place before the grand final. I put its prediction for this first semi-final on Twitter and I got 8 qualifiers out of the 10 right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm sad that Portugal didn't qualify because I really like that song and I really wanted them to qualify. I also put a prediction of the qualifiers of the second semi-final on Twitter and out of those I got none out of the 10 right. Armenia didn't qualify which made me kind of upset because I really wanted them to qualify. I love the song. I think the staging wasn't the best but I still think they should have qualified. I'm so happy for North Macedonia for finally qualifying after like 7 years. The last time they qualified was in 2012 and this year they qualified. We're the second place of the jury votes like wow and they got their best results ever at Eurovision I'm really happy for that both San Marino and North Macedonia got their best results ever this year at Eurovision the stagings that I loved the most were Australia Azerbaijan and France I loved Australia like I said before I loved Azerbaijan because I really liked the concept with the robots he said that in the song he talks about a toxic relationship so his heart gets replaced by a bionic one which is really original has never been done before I I mean, robots has been done before at Eurovision and those particular robots that Azerbaijan had in their staging was done in an interval act in 2016 before but never as an actual act of a competing country. And I also love the staging of France because of just showing a different body type than what you usually see as a dancer at the Eurovision stage and just showing diversity and like acceptance and I just really loved how the staging really fit the message of the song. I just really liked it and I kind of wanted it to end up on a higher place and I think it kind of deserved to end up on a higher place. The replay effect of Cyprus kind of failed because the song is called Replay and they wanted to put this replay effect in the staging but that kind of failed, it didn't really work. This was the first top 10 placing for Iceland. I honestly expected a kind of a higher place, but in the grand final, I think that at one point, Matthias' timing was a bit off. I don't know if anyone else heard that, but I think something went a bit wrong, but I still think that they deserve the top 10 placing. I'm also very happy for Italy, for ending on the second place. They literally started this decade with the second place and ended this decade with the second place. So out of the prediction before the grand final, I predicted the winner right, finally, but I only predicted the winner right, like all the other places I got wrong, like I usually do. Until now, I only guessed the winner right in 2015 and in 2019, this year, in which both years Ukraine didn't participate. Coincidence? Yes. So what now? Right now, a lot of cities are letting the Dutch media know that they want to host Eurovision and there's also a lot of speculation about who should 
host your vision, please, please let me host it. I would love to host it with someone, not on my own. That would be like a bit too much, I think. But seriously, I would love to host. If I can't host your vision, I would love to give the votes for the Netherlands. If I can't do that, I would love to host the red carpets at Eurovision. If I can't do that, I would love to host Eurovision in concert. And if I can't do that, you know, be a commentator for the Netherlands, I don't know. I would love to be part of it next year. I really want to, I really hope I can some way audition or something because that's just my biggest dream right now. So now that I officially have no school this year anymore, I have a lot of plans for upcoming videos. Of course I will post a misheard lyrics video and an awards video like I do every year. There will also be another video with my grandma and you can also ask me any question. Maybe that would be fun to post like another q and I've only done that once before I think. You can ask me questions on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and maybe you'll be in one of my my videos and yeah that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you hopefully soon bye